Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a fun one. Today is a fun one. We've got four of the brand new Lisa Eldridge True Velvet Colors. So much fun, okay? So like I said, we've got four of them. We're gonna try them on, we're gonna swatch them. And if you wanna see what colors I have going on on my lip and what this matching thing is on my head, just keep watching and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I sounded like a newscaster there. Don't forget to subscribe because I appreciate it when you do. Now, let's jump in. And don't forget to stop by my blog, breeziesblog.com, where I'll have swatches of the lipstick, pictures of it on my lips. I'll have all that there. Yeah, just stop by to see more info on this video and other videos that I've done. I have the blogs and the videos, so breeziesblog.com. So as always, I'm Brie and I am the owner of Breezy Tea and we make hair products that fight frizz, lock in moisture, protect your hair with style. I'm winding down with my videos for the year. I think I have one more video left and then I will see you guys again next year because this is the absolute busiest time of year for my business and something has to give and I cannot. It's starting to get overwhelming so but i'm so excited about today's video i knew this one had to get filmed and then one more after this and today's breezy tea product of the day is our plum satin lime beanie there's a theme going on we've got our lisa eldridge berry colors so we got some berry colors going on now this is also the time of year that i give my hair an absolute break because i'm so busy so Enter our satin line beanies. My hair is twisted under here. It will stay twisted for a couple of weeks. And um, while I'm making products, so that's what it does. I know my hair is protected. The satin line, satin lining gives my hair locks in moisture that I know my hair craves in this colder weather. Plus it's super cute and I feel good about having to go out, do what I need to do, shoot a video with my hair under my hat. So if you wanna check out any of our satin line beanies and other products, just visit us at breezytea.com. And now I'm so excited for these lipsticks. I cannot tell you, let's get into them. So I got the Deep Velvet Collection, which came in this really cute red velvet lush pouch. And then I threw in Velvet Muse. Let me tell you something. Just getting four lipsticks was a bit of a feat because all of them, all of them were calling me. They're so beautiful. As soon as Lisa said she was releasing berries, nudes, and browns, I was like, a Brit after my own heart. Those are my colors. Those are my colors. And Lisa Eldridge, if you do not know, is a super famous makeup artist she's an awesome teacher you can go to her youtube page and she's got lots of knowledge to share um i took some tips from her videos for these lipsticks that i want to try today she's just awesome and these true velvet lipstick colors are in, like one of the most coveted makeup products the last uh, launch sold out in just a matter of minutes which I know because I'm still waiting for my gold lightly shade that I missed twice. And then this time with these new velvets, she released a lot more. So there was a more of a chance for people to get it. She increased her, she increased her stock. So more of us got a chance to get them. So I'm just excited. I'm super excited. And like I said, we have four. We're gonna go from light to uh, deep. And yes, here is the case. It has her name there, and it's a nice lightweight. It's super lightweight, which I love to travel, to throw in your bag, to go to work. Some of, you know, when it's a weighted lipstick case, it's luxe, and I love those too, but I love how it still looks so luxe, but it's so incredibly lightweight. So I'm just happy about it, really happy. And again, came with the pouch so I can um, have a little pouch to keep with me that's super posh. Okay, so let's jump in. Enough rambling. Let's start, we're gonna start with the one that was not in the uh, bundle, Velvet Muse, which is the lightest one. Okay, so here is Velvet Muse. Gorgeous, a beautiful 
She says a sensual smoky rosewood shade with the perfect mix of pinky brown and dirty rose undertone to make this shade super wearable across a wide variety of skin tones. So I'm going to try it on my lips with nothing and then I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this with a lip liner. This shade this is one of those shades that I need a lip liner with. So let's go in with out one first. Oh, this feels so nice. Mm. I don't want to be dramatic because I missed out before. These are my first go at Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. And I mean, she named them properly. It really does feel like velvet going on the lips. Super pigmented. Very, very pretty. Super pigmented. So here we are, Velvet Muse, and now let's get on it with some liner. I'm going to say this. This shade just hits the place where I would feel comfortable going without a liner. It's pinky enough, but not too, too light. I, I would feel comfortable going in without a liner, but we're still gonna try with a liner now. Okay, so here I am with a dark chocolate liner on. I usually stick with brown liners because there's an, there's an ease from my skin tone to the lighter pink lip that I just think works well with a brown liner. I think it's beautiful. Either way, just dabbing it on, just like I did at the end, or straight from the bullet. Oh, this is really pretty. I'm gonna have fun with this one. Completely my speed. Okay, so this is the first one. This is Velvet Muse, and she is a beaut. Now we're going to move on to one that's a little bit brighter, Velvet Beauty. And here she is on my hand. Now, I'm going to be honest, this was the holdup in the collection when I was debating if I want it because it seems so bright and so completely out of my comfort zone that I just wasn't sure, excuse me, when you're wiping up lipstick, fun times. Um, I wasn't sure that I would be comfortable wearing it, but then I said, girl, go out on a limb. Let's try this color out. I also want to try this color later, mixed with another color, and I wanna try this one on my cheeks. Even though I put on blush, I'm gonna put on a little bit to see how I like this one as a blush. I feel like it's gonna be a nice, lush blush. So again, we're gonna do the same thing. Actually, you know what? With this one, because it's so bright, I'm gonna try it on first with my finger as a stain, more of a stain, uh, yeah. So let's see how I like that. Oh my God, these are so soft. If I didn't mention it in the last one, it feels like absolutely nothing is on the lips, like nothing is on the lips. So. So I'm okay with this. I'm actually okay with this with no liner. I mean, it feels like I'm just, just touching my lips. Nothing here to see, no lipstick here to see. So I like this as just a stain with my finger. Again, if you're intimidated by super bright colors or on the other spectrum, dark ones, which we're gonna talk about in a second, dabbing it on with your finger diffuses it. So you get a nice flush of color, but it's not too intimidating either way if you don't like brights or if you're intimidated by dark colors. So, yep. So this is absolutely an option for me and I really like it with no, I'm a lip liner girl, so for me to say I don't like a lipstick without a lip liner, um, I like this wash of color. And now let's go in with the full color, straight from the bullet. Yalva, that's bright. That was the only thing about the last collection that I was okay kind of skipping because the colors 
were super duper bright. And this is super duper bright in my eyes. This is super duper bright for me. She says it's a beautifully vibrant light pink berry inspired by the rosy lips in pre-Raphaelite paintings. Mm. Lisa coming through with the colors. Now let's try this with a liner. Loving the stain though, the stain dabbing it on for sure. I'm not sure about this full strength, but let's see with the liner. I'm going to go on with the lighter brown because I'm not sure, a deep, a deep brown might be too much. Let's see, I'm gonna see. I have a berry color, but I wanna know what it looks like with brown. Cause I need to diffuse it. Okay, so this diffused it in a nice way. The brown, I think the dark brown would have been too overwhelming for the color, but this one brought it down a little bit around the edges and made it much more relatable for me, much more comfortable for me. So if I was gonna do bright, this is how I would do it with a little deepening around the edges or mixing this up. This is the color I wanna mix up with a deeper color in a second. I forgot I wanted to see this one as a blush, so I'm just gonna dab it. Shows up right away, pretty pink. Nice little rosy cheek. Let's even it out on this side. So a nice way to tie in the lips and the cheeks. Beautiful color, Velvet Beauty. Next up is the Fabulously Sultry Velvet Myth. Ooh, it matches my background. And here she is, the swatch. Now, Lisa says she is a wildly vivid mulberry shade inspired by a vintage kimono Lisa bought on her first trip to Japan. The shade has notes of red and blue and is particularly good for brightening the face and whitening the teeth. Now listen, I've been asked before to wear more reds, lipsticks, and I, I won't do it. But when I do reds, this is completely it. These berry reds, just like purpley red. That's, that's my zone. That is my zone. So I am excited about this. I know that it's going to be bright. I do not care. I'm excited and I'm going to do the same thing as last time. Okay, I'm gonna dab it on first with my finger and then we're gonna see when we vamp it all the way up. This is so pretty like this. This is giving me, oh, oh, did my cranberry juice stain my lips? It's giving me that. It's giving me that, whoa. Did that cherry just explode all over my lips? It's, it's giving me that. So we just got a little staining going on with this color and it's absolutely beautiful. I'm loving it so much just here. I may never have to, can I just say, I love lipstick videos. I love this trying on different lipsticks. Taking them off is not fun, especially when they're super pigmented like this. I'm seeing the little liner or my lip. Ooh, I'm loving it like this. I'm loving it like this. And I feel like, depending on where I'm going, I am fine to stop just here. Got a little something, something on my lips. But if I need to vamp it up, I can. And that's what we're gonna do now. Now let's va 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 boom this up, okay? This is beautiful. This is beautiful. So when I do reds, you can find me in one of these. This is completely just enough red, just enough brightness. We've got those purple undertones. Oh, Lisa, ding! She says it brightens the teeth. I'm always happy when I find a red that I, just fits me, okay? And this one is a beautiful berry red. Beautiful, beautiful, mmm, mmm, mmm. Time to move on to the last one. Damn. And the final color today is the gorgeous Velvet Midnight, which is the deepest shade in the whole collection. Here it is. 
beautiful. Lisa said this is the deepest of the shades. This dramatic blackberry shade lends itself perfectly to its velvet coat. And if I didn't mention, these are mattes, cream mattes, and they're just beautiful. They really are beautiful. So I'm gonna do the same one with this one, pat it on with my finger first, and then we'll go fully into the bullet. Now what's interesting is Lisa did a second video with these new velvets, and because people were a little intimidated by the darker shades, I, what I think is people who uh, have lighter skin tones were probably more intimidated. These darker colors, these deeper browns, there's a brown that she had that I didn't get that I absolutely love, a chocolatey brown. I think women with brown skin were pretty used to these shades, these berry, deep berry shades. So I think it was a little intimidating for people with um, lighter skin tones who don't wear a lot of dark shades so she did a second video to teach you the different ways that you can use it and the coolest one was to dab one with your finger because it diffused it so much it looked like different lipsticks so I'm gonna go in with my finger first and let's see what this one yields on my skin very pretty very pretty and I would absolutely um, wear it just like this with at this intensity. I like it. It's like a, a deep plum right now. A deep plum. All right, let it go. Love this. I love this. Lord, I've got I've got berry colors all over my fingers. This lips this 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 video has just done me in. It's just colors all over the place. But love it. Love it. It might look darker on camera. It's a beautiful blackberry dead on. It's a blackberry color, like a like a blackberry just mm, you just rub blackberry all over your, 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 your lips. Love this color. And again, it's a color, this intensity, that I love on brown women. Whenever I see it on them, I just think it's so complimentary. But what I love that Lisa did was, she made it so wearable for any skin tone. And I like the different variations she yielded by just dabbing it on with her finger or a brush. So I think this one is absolutely stunning, beautiful, lovely. But there's one more thing I want to do. I want to take a little bit of that beauty, that bright one, and I'm just going to put it in the middle, the center of my lips, and see how that works out. Okay, for our final little look, let's try the beauty color, the bright color, on the center of this velvet midnight. Ooh, it's lightning. Ooh, it's having a nice little effect. Mmm. Mmm, look at that. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is another really beautiful way to just, if you're intimidated, to just lighten up a darker color. So now we've got. We've got fruits of the forest going on on the list. We've got different shades of berry. Mmm, loving this with the midnight and the beauty. Perfect one to end it on. Love, love, love. These are the new True Velvet colors. Okay, I had an absolute blast making this video and I am an absolute instant 100% in fan of this Lisa Eldridge lipstick formula. The pigmentation is insane. It feels like nothing is on my lips. I'm here for the beautiful gold case and how lightweight it is. They're all coming with me when I head back home to the States for the holidays. I'm going to be having fun with these lipsticks. Sorry to the ones that won't make it because of these, but all of them are going. Love, 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 love. This was yummy, this was fun. Now, if you enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed making it, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. I keep saying it, I'm enjoying the feedback. Which ones did you get from the collection? 
which ones do you have your eye on? A lot of them are sold out, but there are still some available for purchase. They're gorgeous. I can't recommend Lisa Eldridge enough. If you haven't tried her lipsticks, they're up there with the best lipsticks that I've ever tried. So they're stunning. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe and definitely leave me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. And if you want to check out any of our satin line beanies, any of our satin line knit beanies, it's getting cold out there. Our t-shirt hair towel wraps, satin head scarves, boho headbands, stretch headbands, and head wraps, and more. Just visit us at breezytea.com. I will see you guys for one more video for the year. Ciao for now. Bye.